Hi folks, in today's transformation video, we're gonna be taking a look at how we turned our family bathroom from this into this. And stick around to the end of the video and we'll tell you a few of the things that we would definitely do again and some of the things we definitely wouldn't. Enjoy.
you might have been able to tell from a little bit more hair back then and bit, uh, a, little bit, a little bit more energy. That was about five years ago and we're still pretty much at the point we left it. There's a few little bits to finish as there are with most of our rooms but for the whole we were pretty pleased with how it came out. So let's just take a little look at some of our favourite bits and some of the bits we wouldn't do again. Right, first up, what's what, what would I never put in a bathroom ever again in my whole life? Um, these lovely taps that he reminds me every time I chose. Um, I, I still think they're really nice, but for some These reason, are known as killer taps. <laughs> Tim, Tim they're like Ryan. knife blades, and if a child ever like slipped and fell, game over. Scarred. I don't mind it too much. They have actually hurt themselves. They haven't. It's not too bad on this one because you're not really going to headbutt that when you're washing your face. But yeah, that's, uh, I think the, the main problem is because the tap is in the middle of the bath, which you think, oh, that's lovely. There's no tap end to worry about. Yeah, but actually, it's can sit each side. Yeah, but actually it um, doesn't drain as well. And if you ever need to change that tap, which I would have done by now, it's a bath out job. Whereas if it was at the end there, or the other end at least, we'd be able to get to it. I still love this, this is one of my favourite things, the wall and the clay paint. Yeah, that was the earth form so. clay paint, so this is a super matte, breathable sort of paint, so you never ever get any condensation in this room at all, even though the lower half is just plastered, yeah. uh, but that had been like it for so many years that if there was an issue we would have seen it by then. I also love the inbuilt laundry bin, um, some of the fabric ones always like flop over or look raggedy. This is just there. It's Do you think we should have put a hinge on that? What, to open it up? Yeah. Yes, potentially. Because then the girls could help, but because they can't get in, but... They can actually get in there. Yeah, and then they fall in. And then they've got to come rescue them. So, but these, um, and these are, that's all the floorboards from the room. Yeah. The ones we salvaged, a lot of them were rotten. Yeah, I like, I like the shelves, they're really handy. I like the radiator and the little alcove because they sit there warming their back as they get dry after a bath. Right, any thoughts on tiles? Nope, still love them. They're nice and clean, they're fresh, they haven't got any problems with the grout. I love the grout colour still. Um, it makes them pop. If you haven't seen already, we've done a small bathroom built downstairs, like a shower room, and we've kind of cloned this one, didn't we? Yeah. It's almost identical. It's like a mini. We just went, you know, why, why change if you like it? So. We've gone for the same tiles, same grout colour and same paint. Different shower, all the cabinets and doors in there we built from scratch. Back when we did this, we wouldn't have known what we were doing, whereas now we're a little bit more able. And there's a bunch more things that we would approach differently in this room. Can I mention the toilet hole? Uh, toilet roll holder. Yeah. That is something that I wouldn't do again. A toilet roll holder? No, I would, but I wouldn't have it there. I'd have it here. No. It has to go there. If the wall had no, been further the other right way. It's right behind you. Kids fall off the toilet trying to get to it. Okay, folks, we're going to uh, put the vote out. Would you have your toilet roll holder here, nicely framed, you know, it's all going on, looks good, or would you have it right here? By your side. Yeah, yeah, but it's too close to your side. No, it's not. I don't know how far forward you Big sit. debates here. Before we wrap up, I just thought I'd mention that if you want to go back and watch the series in full, it goes into a lot more detail. They're not how-to videos, they're just how we did it. Um, and there's a few things that we've done differently now on the more recent bathroom downstairs, which I think were, were better techniques. The modern sort of lightweight backer boards are far better than going the cement board route and just a few other bits that we've learned along the way. But by all means, head back and see how we did it back in the day. Joe's been digging through the archives of all the footage to find out enough for the next transformation video, which, we think is going to be the lounge, lounge. and the lounge is, is pretty much there there's a few bits to do some window sills and stuff which we want to get sorted before then so we're probably going to do one of these each month whatever you're doing around the house just remember if you can do it yourself and we'll see you next time i don't know what paint this is but it's very nice and durable and easily wipeable just dura durex no, not Dulux. Dula. It is Dulux. <laughs> it's not Durex. Yeah. Uh, I knew I knew it as soon as you said it. Uh, bathroom paint. <laughs> okay. Um, back to it. <laughs> it's gone bright red in the face.